Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect. Starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children of Israel, who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and I just want to get into a brief lesson it's a, uh, it's a response uh, to a live stream that beloved brother Isaiah uh, did earlier this morning uh, he went into this uh, this news clip uh, pretty much going into how Oklahoma uh, and Texas okay are going to start honoring uh, the Ten Commandments man okay <laughs> and like the brother said it's too late Okay, I'm gonna show the clip. We're gonna let the brother open up because he shows the he shows the news clip pretty quick after opening up his lesson. So we're gonna let him open up and then go into it and then we'll go from there. Uh, but needless to say, you know, do the spirit and the power you have about you shy. Let's grab this preset real quick. Yeah, it's too late for you, evil E man. It's too late. Don't be hey, don't be scared now. Keep that same energy. Okay, you had back during the time of cattle slavery, man. When you were erecting, okay, these, these churches all up on the plantations, man. Okay, when you were taking scriptures, okay, out of the script, out of the Bible. Okay, and when you formulated the slave Bible, keep that same energy, man. Don't be scared now. <laughs> hey, don't be scared now. The book of Psalms chapter 50, okay, in verse 16, and it reads, But unto the wicked, okay, and the wicked who? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, man. What proves that is the book of Malachi, the first chapter in the first in the fourth verse. Go read it. Okay? Esau, Edom, okay, is coined as the border of wickedness, man. Okay, and then remember, Esau is Edom. Pursuant to Genesis, the 36th chapter. Okay, the so-called white man, woman, and child. Okay, they're the seed of the wicked. You see? Check it out. But unto the wicked, right, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman, and child, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? And this is what they've done. Okay? They've taken the they've taken the Bible upon themselves. Okay, they've called themselves the chosen people. Okay, they've They've inhabited the 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 the, the, the chosen land, okay. <laughs> All right, they swear in on the Bible during their presidency. They use the pipe the Bible throughout throughout their judicial system, okay. But here it is, they do nothing that the Bible uh, uh, establishes, man. And what does the Bible establish? Righteousness, okay. And this place in the form of Babylon the Great, okay, under the watch of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, okay, has been being ruled contrary to that. You see? This is why the Lord's saying this, man. As a matter of fact, this is going to nail the point home. Verse 17, seest thou hatest instruction. And you get the instruction through the scriptures, man. Okay, the scriptures, this is the blueprint to how to rule an empire, man. And castes thy words behind me, man. This is what Esau's done. Okay, this is why he has his, has his own plethora of laws, man. Okay, he has coded out. <laughs> okay. He does not establish the laws of the, of, of the Lord. Okay, this is why nasty people have more rights than you if you're a heterosexual man or woman. Okay, but here it is. The book of Leviticus tells us what's supposed to happen to them. Okay, 
Scripture goes into how you're not supposed to suffer a witch to live. But here it is. This place is being ruled under witchcraft, man. Okay? This man's pharmacy, his medical system uh, is tailored around witchcraft, man. When you go into that word pharmacy, okay, in the Greek, okay, it's pharmakia. Pharmakia, which goes into what? Witchcraft. Okay? <laughs> so, yeah, man, hey, don't get scared now, man. Okay? Like the, from the, uh, the, the quote in the words of beloved Amawan I Biden. Everything you do in this life, it comes with a price, man. Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the whole flick of Israel. You Hebrew Israelites, you so called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians. Get to give our praises and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The Most High, the Heavenly Father, his Hebrew name is Yahweh. Now Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Elohim, not Most High, not Lord, not Yahweh, not Jah, not the High, not Allah, not Abba, not Yahuwah. It's Yahweh. And His only begotten Son name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Serapis Christos, not Yeshaya, not Yehoshua, not Yahusha. It's Yahweh Shah. So let it give our praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekah Korash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, bishops and elders, great millstone who rule well, who teach well, who are apostles and elders of all of Israel, ready to set to the night. And a sincere salutation to all the occupants pushing this truth and believing this truth for 12 winds of the earth and the entire world, shedding light to the host of the Shalom to the Akwas who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah from Jim Messer. I know Kim coming into another lesson of true facts, faith, and education. A day of education, Lord willing, must be edifying. Another Saturday of education. So I tied this lesson. This still does not show or promote the fear of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah. So this is a quick little 28 second video of them putting on um, the Ten Commandments in a couple of schools. But this don't show the fear of the Lord. This don't promote the fear of Yahweh by Shema was shy. So let me play this clip. I'm gonna get some precepts. Lord will this be at the phone. All Oklahoma schools are now required to teach the All Oklahoma schools are now required to teach the Bible and the Ten Commandments effective immediately. The state superintendent, a Republican, says the texts are historical documents necessary to have an understanding of Western civilization. The move comes one week after Louisiana became the first state to mandate that public schools must display the Ten Commandments. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has pledged to pass a similar measure here in Texas. Hold on, let's run it back one more time. All Oklahoma schools are now required to teach the Bible and the Ten Commandments effective immediately. The state superintendent, a Republican, says the texts are historical documents necessary to have an understanding of Western civilization. The move comes one week after Louisiana became the first state to mandate that public schools must display the Ten Commandments. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has pledged to pass a similar measure here in Texas. This, <laughs> this does not show the fear of the Lord. And, by the way, it's too late, man. <laughs> all the rape, robbery, murder, pillaging, and plundering, all the blood that has been shed in the miracle Babylon the great. It's too late, man. It's too late, E. <laughs> it's too late. Hey, you know they scared. You heard her? She said it's effective immediately, bro. <laughs> hey, they feel, hey, prophecy speaking. Okay? If you say that you can't see the prophecies manifesting in real time, you're a goddamn liar. Okay? And you're ignoring the signs that are before you and you're in denial. Okay? Because it's in plain, plain sight. 
Okay, that prophecy is speaking. You see whether you believe it or not. Okay, and you better believe evil EA. Hey, hey you're, you're not, you're, your sacrifices are not going to be acceptable to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. They never were. Okay, since the time of Cain, man, the first murderer documented. Okay, and you have that same wicked spirit in you. You have the seed of Cain, man. Okay, when you go to Proverbs real quick, and I posted this on the brother's live stream. And the beloved brother read it, and this is what stimulated me to do a response. When I had thought about this precept right here, and then the spirit moved on them, on them. And I said, through the spirit, I, I think I'm going to do a response to this on the way up to camp, because that's where I'm going now. I'm on my way up to camp now. You know, Lord willing, you know, you beloved Akiyam, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. For those of you that go out on Saturdays and Sundays, you know, Lord willing, you brothers that went out yesterday, you know, and throughout the week, you know, it was a safe, edifying, uh, you know, camp. But needless to say, Proverbs 21, let's go here. And 27, and it reads, the book of Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 27, and it reads, the sacrifice of the wicked, and remember, we established who the wicked is, okay, in Malachi 1 and 4, you got to go read it. If you're not familiar, for you new listeners, open up your Bible, go on your Bible app, pause the video, go to Malachi, the first chapter and the fourth verse, man, and you're going to find out that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, woman and child are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. They're coined as the border of wickedness, man. You see, the sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. You see, it's abominable. <laughs> like Esau. <laughs> Check it out. And now Hebrews 12 proves that. Hebrews 12 and 16. How much more when he bringeth it with a wicked mind? And you see their stance. You see how they mentioned how it, it elaborates on Western uh, uh, Western culture They're tripping The Bible has Hey The only thing the Bible Has to do with Western culture Okay Is how Babylon the Great The daughter of Babylon Babylon's highlighted Okay To be hit with 200 million missiles man The great future judgment Okay Of this Western hemisphere man Okay It's nothing good There's nothing good Coming to the West Pursuing the biblical prophecy man Okay, and you can see it manifested, man. You see the BRICS nations over there in the East gathering? Okay, with Russia leading that charge. Through the spirit of Paul, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. In efforts to what? Bring forth the third woe, spoken of in Revelations. The war, the end all wars. World War Three. Okay, which is going to cause a thermonuclear fallout. And the salvation, okay, of the elect of the nation of Israel is going to come out of that. You see? <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai is preparing the West, okay, for that glittering sword. Let's close up right here. This is the book, the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms, the seventh chapter. In verse 11, and it reads, Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai judges the righteous. Who's the righteous? Those that believe in Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai, the elect. Okay, because what makes you righteous? Your belief in the Lord. Matter of fact, let's prove that real quick. Through the Spirit. Prove all things. The book of Romans, chapter 4, regarding our beloved forefather Abraham. Check this out. Let's start from verse 1 and read down. Romans 4 and 1. What should we say then that Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh have found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he had whereof to glory, but not before Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and it was counted unto him for Righteousness You see So the elect Lord willing We're part of that precious number 
is the righteous. Let's go back. Back in the book of Psalms, chapter 7, and verse 11, and it reads, Yahweh Ba Shimiao Shai judgeth the righteous, and Yahweh Ba Shimiao Shai is angry with the wicked. Uh oh, we establish who the wicked is, right? Every day, man. The Lord's angry with the wicked every day, right? Check it out. If he, if he, and, but remember, it tells you in Job 21 that the wicked are reserved, man. The wicked are reserved for what? For the day of doom. <laughs> you see? Let's get this. If he, if, if he turned not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready, man. Them ICBM missiles, man. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, sitting in silos as I speak. These things don't need to be blueprinted, okay? They don't need to be put together. They're sitting in silos or on top of a, uh, a, a, a back of a truck or in a submarine. They're ready to go. They're ready to fly. You see? He had also prepared for him for who? For Esau, Edom, the so-called white man first and foremost, man, the rest of you heathen and the wicked of you, Jake. The instruments of deletion. Okay, he ordained his arrows. Those are the missiles. Okay, even the military to this day coins the missile that they lose. If they lose a missile or if it detonates accidentally premeditated or whatever the case may be, they call it a broken arrow, man. See, he ordained his arrows against the persecutors. And who's the main persecutor? Esau, Edom. The so-called white man, man. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, man. Okay? Which iniquity goes into evil, man. Wickedness, man. Okay? Transgression, sin. And hath conceived mischief. Right? This man has hurt everyone on this planet, man. First and foremost, the, the, the Israelites. Okay? And brought forth falsehood, man. Okay, and the biggest form of falsehood this man has brought forth is this 501c3 wacky tacky modern day, okay, Christianity, man. Claiming that he's the chosen, claiming that he's the Messiah, claiming that he's the Most High, okay? Inhabiting the Holy Land, claiming that that's theirs, okay? He's brought forth falsehood, man. He's deceived the whole world. But guess what? There's a penalty for that. Let's continue reading to prove it. He made a pit and digged it. Right, since the Renaissance period. Even it goes further back than that. You see? But I'll go as far as back as the Renaissance period, man. Okay? When he rebirthed the Western Roman Empire into existence, man. Okay? And brought bo and brought forth all this deception. Right? And, and dealt treacherously. Let's not forget. Okay? With north, with the southern and northern kingdom of Israel, man. Okay? And is fallen into the ditch which he made, man. <laughs> you about to fall. Hey. Scripture goes into it. Uh, he that rolled a the, roll the stone, it shall roll back on to him, man. See? There was only a matter of time before that stone was going to come tumbling back upon you, man. For all your unrighteous dealings Injuries man And your riches Gotten by deceit Let's close out right here His mischief Right all your ill dealings Shall return Upon his own Head And when you read Isaiah 34 and 5 It tells you what That the sword of the Lord is bathed in heaven And it's gonna come down It's gonna come down upon Idumia Okay, proving that it's going to be an aerial attack Okay, on you Babylonians, man And his violent dealing Shall come down upon his own pate Which is on top of your head, man So yeah, man, hey The water beloved brother Isaiah For bringing this out Hey, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai For putting on the spirit Okay, of the beloved brother Isaiah To do this lesson Cause I, I I enjoyed it, brother. I enjoyed that live stream, man. And Esau Edom has been playing with the live stream. 
He's been playing with the common boy. I just want to put that out there. This was the second time that I, I would greet, I would greet on the common boy, okay? And it'll manifest again oh, two, three, four times. Like I'm like I'm bugging out. Okay, I had I had greeted and I said a comment, and the next thing you know, I looked at the common boy. I, I, I refreshed the comment board and it made it seem as if it made it seem as if I had posted my greeting and the comment I made five, six times, man. And this is the second time he's done that. He did it yesterday. Uh, what live stream was I on uh, yesterday? Oh, I believe I was listening to the beloved brothers out of uh, Birmingham, Alabama. The beloved brother uh, Awa Ram, the head of the camp, the brother Barack, and uh. The other brother, they were, they were, they were three wide, man. Uh, the other beloved brother, um, uh, your, but your name slips my mind right now, Malak. Salak, your beloved brother. And it's funny, once I close this lesson, they'll come to me. Damn. But needless to say, yeah, man. Evil E was, Evil, Evil E did it on that live stream as well, man. You know, manifested my greeting uh, six, seven times, man, like I'm tripping. You know, so hey, watch out, man. Esau's doing some funny business, man. Funny, funny, funny money business, man. But yeah, it's over. It's over, man. It's too late. It's too late, E. Okay? It's too late. It's game over, man. Okay, your your visitation draweth nigh. All praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Shalom.